visitor to Iran can expect a series of surprises. The dramatic natural beauty of the country and the reflection of such beauty in Persian art where the rendering of detail seems never ending. But also in the genuinely warm welcome where strangers are greeted with kindness and curiosity. Esfahan was the nerve center of one of the great Islamic superpowers of the 17th century, alongside the Mughals of India and the Ottomans of Turkey. The Safavid dynasty of Iran not only laid down the foundations of the modern state of Iran, but left an extraordinarily rich legacy of art, architecture and culture. This is a place for appreciating sophisticated and historic culture, for sightseeing and shopping, and maybe, best of all, sitting in one of the many tea houses or chaihanes and drinking tea and chatting. His parents are visiting and, and you're just pretty fresh. Esfahan is absolutely super and I probably won't like Yaz nearly as much, but you will actually. I, very I, I, I really do want to go to Yaz um, because I'm fascinated by... The flurry of diplomatic activity and the surge in trade along the Silk Route during the Safavid era was not least driven by the desire of Europeans to buy the exquisite silk cloth and other goods that to some degree are still produced here today. Shah Abbas wanted uh, to have to see uh, the best uh, possible handicraft or art in general in Islam. And there's always something new to learn in Islam. If you go through the uh, main corridor of bazaar, you find new caravans, right, new madrasas. And especially the bazaar in this part is, you know, bazaar is considered as a creeping and crawling phenomenon. It finds its way. And, uh, I think the most authentic bazaar in, in Iran, in actually many ways, is this one. But other than that, are you happy with the hotels that you stayed in? Satisfactorily comfortable and yeah. Yeah. Certainly the one here is luxurious. Yes. Yeah, yes. very luxurious. No complaints. So, it helps, doesn't it? You get a good night's sleep. Most definitely. I mean, every hotel we've stayed at has been very nice, has been very comfortable, clean. Yeah. Good. Does it help when you're staying in Iran? If you're staying in an interesting hotel or a comfortable hotel, does it make a big difference? Yeah, it does. It definitely makes the experience. Um, you've got the heritage. You feel you're kind of you've got some contact with with Iran's history and the, the Persian side. The Abbasi Hotel is the most famous hotel in Iran. Its delightful garden in the courtyard full of flowers and fountains is a relaxing retreat from the surrounding city. Massive bridges cross this lovely river that runs through the city, and many date back to the 17th century. Not only functional, but beautiful to look at, they're a favorite place for Esfahanis to sit and relax in the evening. For 400 years, there's been a significant Armenian Christian minority living in Esfahan. And the cathedral they built here is the historic focal point of the Armenian church in Iran and an example of their skill and faith in God. Both the exterior and the interior reveal a fusion of Armenian and Persian traditions, particularly where the Christian frescoes on the wall sit happily above the Persian tile work below. Chahel Satoun was a royal pavilion, set in green and leafy gardens and embellished with terraces that blur the boundaries between inside and outside. This building appears to epitomize the splendid lifestyle of the royal court and the interior paintings reveal sumptuous banquets and lavish entertainment and celebrate hard-won military victories over various Turkmen and Turkish neighbors. I'm more interested in ancient culture yeah. personally, but it's fascinating to get an insight into how the Iranians live now. And having an Iranian guide helps in that, because he would tell you what is the real Iran as opposed to what you read in the guidebooks and what media wants you to believe is the real Iran. And I reckon Iran's one of the most misunderstood countries in the world. I bought a, a long covering gown and a headscarf in Dubai so that at least I could err on the side of caution before I came, but I realized once I was here that it was actually a lot 
less strict than I imagined. Can you tell me if you've stayed in any really nice hotels that you've really enjoyed and will remember? You know. So far, there's, there's one outstanding hotel in my mind, mm. and that's the caravanserai we went to. And it was just in the middle of a desert, and it, it looked like it was brand new, fortified castle in effect. And inside, it just opened up into glorious arches. Well, we're all quite excited to be here because this, to my knowledge, is the first uh, original Shah Abbas caravanserai which has been meticulously restored and is now used again somewhat close to its original purpose as a hotel. And in fact, we can see how its reputation has gone ahead because here's a book full of uh, wonderful, you know, we loved staying in this hotel for many, many people. Time and time again making this film, people have told us that they're not looking for five-star international luxury with satellite televisions and internet connections. They're looking for something authentic and something that they feel is real. And by and large, they find that in Iran, and that's great. But I think this must be an example of the very best of that, because this caravanserai, not only is it a genuinely old building, beautifully restored, but it, it's kind of fascinating as well, because this is a real room in a caravanserai set up with carpets on the floors and cotton mattresses and it just is wonderful it looks fantastic you feel you want to take the carpets home with you and uh, they're all slightly different and the rooms are all set around that central courtyard and it really is the very best and i think it's wow well this is the uh, central courtyard and the open to the sky and in fact the rooms all go off this courtyard and this is probably the nearest any of us will ever get to really creating that whole feeling of travelling in that marvellous sort of era that 